All right, everybody, Jake Raby here, Flat Six Innovations. We have on the dyno a 2003 996 Targa. You can look at these wheels, and people that understand these cars understand where this car came from. If you follow Bring a Trailer Auctions or Rin List, you will know this is a car that was a focus of quite a bit of drama following its purchase. Uh, through Bring a Trailer Auctions back in 2020. So we are completing the dyno evaluation of this car. And uh, we are doing a little bit of back-to-back -back comparison. It's been a few years since we did a really good test of uh, these engines when they were equipped with, or the vehicles when they were equipped with semi-solid and solid motor mounts. So down there you'll see this one has a semi-solid motor mount installed. We've gotten some dyno data from this particular engine, and we are going to compare the dyno data before and after changing those mounts back out to stock. So no vehicle leaves flat six with a semi-solid or a solid mount installed. Um, we've got some dyno data here. Um, we are in just in the midst of doing the first round of work and getting the engine to the point of uh, you know, being effectively tuned, if you will, uh, for the next stage of evaluation. So this car usually makes about 265 horsepower at the rear wheels. It's 307 uh, right now. We're not done yet, okay? We're, we're certainly not done yet. We've, it's got more in it. Uh, our air fuel ratio is being impacted by the ignition timing being pulled because of the semi-solid mounts that are installed. That's what we've seen before. We're detecting that with ignition timing and the knock sensor sensitivity as well. So um, again, 307 at the rear wheels, um, 275 or so foot pounds of torque at the rear wheels. You know, compare those numbers to your stock uh, 3.6 liter 9962 and you'll see that it's nothing to sneeze at. But again, we're not done. So I wanted to shoot this, show those mounts. Now we're gonna leave the car on the dyno and we're going to change those mounts out and we're gonna perform the exact same test again on the same day with the same weather. And we will be able to uh, show you guys exactly what we're seeing back to back, doing nothing more than changing the engine mounts where the engine mounts to the chassis. So we've got stock engine mounts in there now. You can barely see that's a stock mount. It still has the decal on it, okay? Same car, same day, same everything. Only took about 45 minutes to change the mounts. This was our power before, 307. This is our torque, 275. And also look at the torque where it was measured at maximum here. So before, our max torque was measured at 4,260 RPM. Now our max torque is measured at 5,420 RPM as a peak, okay? We picked up the difference here between 307 and 315 horsepower, and the difference between 275 and 279 foot-pounds of torque. Now what I want you to see is the difference in these plots what you are looking at are the negative effects that come from a semi-solid engine mount on a continual basis here at Flat Six Innovations. This is a back-to-back -back test. The car did not even leave the dyno, okay? This car still has more in it. We have to correct the air-fuel ratio, but now we can do that since we do not have the engine bullet ignition timing. So we also saw a difference here in the ignition timing safety retard that was being pulled because the engine believed that it had knock. That was really false knock that was coming from those uh, engine mounts, okay? So I'm gonna go to a single graph. This is the difference that we're seeing here just in the horsepower, back to back, same day, you know, very close to the same time, all right? Go to a double graph, and now we're looking at just the differences here with the torque and the horsepower, okay? We don't see this every now and then. We see this every time that we change mounts. Now again, these were semi-solid mounts from a highly reputable company that has done their research on this. They clearly don't even have a chassis dyno or they would know what we know, and that is that 
these are something we will not use. Now again, let's look at the differences here. The difference is only a couple of foot-pounds of torque, but look at the difference in where that torque is made. Basically, you're talking 1,200 RPM difference in the peak torque, and look at how different these two plots are. Again, there's been less than an hour separating when these runs were done, and we did multiple runs. These were just two that were the best average across the board, okay? So, do your homework. These are semi-solid mounts. People will a lot of times use these mounts to enhance the drivability of the car. And in some cases, they're willing to leave power on the table. What they don't realize they're leaving on the table is all the detractors that come from having retarded ignition timing. And that ignition time and retardation elevates exhaust gas temperatures and changes the entire characteristics of the tune of the engine. All right, guys, we're going to keep tuning on it. Now we got the factory mount in it. Now we can get something done. Uh, we're going to make some more changes to the file, and we're going to try to get some of those uh, high and low spots out of the graph. Now that we can do that, and we don't have any ignition retardation playing into it, Jake Ravy here, Blacksmith Innovation. I want to show you a little bit about what we learned here in our world.